So why are we in, a, in an era that so many good women are single? Or is it because women nowadays want to be single and they want to date multiple men? Like, what do you guys think the whole thing is? We have different aged people up here, right. so each one's going to have, okay. I think, a different answer. What do you think? I think, you I think, think? false expectations uh -huh. of the women. Women, we think, like, women want something that does not exist. They don't want to put any work to help these men grow. Like, I feel like women mature a lot faster than men, mm -hmm. and sometimes our men are not where we are when we meet them. Yeah. And they have, we have false expectations. They look at Instagram, and they're like, you know, looking at what people are living and swiping or whatever, and they, they want that fake life, and it doesn't exist. Right, that was a good answer. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I basically what she said, a mouthful right there. I feel like a lot of girls don't want to grow what they do. Like, you might not be at the level where you want them to be when you meet him, but that don't mean you can't get there. You like you gotta grow with your man. Like if that's the dude you feel like he the one, grow with him. Like work with him and stuff like that. He ain't always gotta be like the whole full package when you first meet him. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be that way. You can grow with somebody, and you'll never know that person. That's the reason why you'll break up with him, and he'll be better with somebody else. Okay. It's because you, you didn't sit there. Him. Yeah, you didn't sit there <laughs> and work with him and build him up to where he needed to be. And so now he went such and such, and he. He's the best out of control, <laughs> treat his girl right and stuff like that because you didn't want to wait for this. Yep. Um, That's the truth. That is the truth, brother. Yes. Yes. What they said is, what they, I agree with what both of them said, uh -huh. but like, I feel like it's not always the case with that. Because I know not. how many of my female friends that have held down a nigga for four or five years in jail, as soon as he got out, he, he went to the next girl. Yeah. Like, oh, you said in jail, saying? though. No, but, but, but what I'm saying, though, I personally, Gonna held the nigga down, like, right. you know what I'm saying? 20 years old, hitting nigga 20 racks to save his crib, all types of shit, cause he wanna be about the life, you know what I'm saying? And I just got caught up in that. And I did, I did my part. I grew yeah. with a nigga, I held my own. I had my own bag, I, I helped him out. But it just, it's like I said, it's like, yo, to be honest, like dating nowadays, I'm single cause I just wanna better myself. Mm -hmm. I want me and my people to be good first before I give, when I'm in a relationship, I give all of me. Yes. So it's like, before I give all of me, I need to have my, my house, everything, Station, in order. Uh, in order. Everything gotta be in order. So I feel like I feel like when like my age group, they're like reckless as hell. Reckless as hell. They don't care if you my age group don't care if you down or if you ready to groom or groom a nigga. No, <laughs> if you, you got them ass shots, bitch, what's up? Are you on the gram? What's up? Like that's what everybody's yeah. into now with my age Instagram. group. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram that's ruined relationships. Yeah. yeah. That's Instagram is the devil. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm Instagram nosy people, but I, I, I like Instagram. Like, I feel like we uh, blame a lot of stuff on a social media platform. They ain't got nothing to do with what really is going on. It's really people. At, at the end of the day, it's a mentality. Yes. It's a mentality. So Instagram, at the end of the day, yeah, I feel like, and that's, I was just telling my friends earlier, like, it's uh, one thing you can't do is you can't look in comments. You can't go and research shit off of Instagram and everything like that. Instagram is not CNN. It's not like it's not the news source. It's not it's not everything that people make it to be. So I'm giving it so much power and really just live your life and be fun and like do what you gotta do and be real. Like some people like it's too many people like chasing clout. So yeah, the, the fakeness of, the day, of it's Instagram. Easy. It's too yeah. easy to get, chase clout. So all right, like, so we got a few people that want to pop off. Go ahead. I just want to speak. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. I just want to speak on relationships. Um, as of Friday, I've been married 25 years. Shout out. Yay! And say that because me being older and the generation now, I have 10 kids, six boys, four girls. Oh, wow. And just to wow. see how relationships and things, you know, especially with Instagram, people get on Instagram like, oh, you get cursed out because this person like this picture or you liking that person. And I just think this generation now is really crazy, you know. <laughs> when you're in a relationship and you're being committed, it's hard work. It's not easy at Hello. all. It's not going to be perfect. You're going to have your good times. You're going to have your bad times. You're going to be in love with each other one week. Next week, you're not going to can't stand each other. You know, being in a relationship and marriage is hard work. Every and day. Talking to, like, older people <laughs> and just growing up from the way I grew up, you know, with my grandmother, my mother, you know, we did certain things of taking care of our family, taking care of our men. 
and women, these young girls just don't do that these days. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to cook and clean. You and they say, oh, you being submissive. It's that. Repeat, cook and clean. You know, you're just handling your we're business. <laughs> you know, you handling your business as a woman. This is just how I was raised. Your your responsibility is the household. Of course, you know you might work outside of the house, but at the end of the day, that's still your responsibility. And you guys have to talk and communicate with each other. You know, without communication, People it's just not going to work. You know, so as the older people say, you go through your tribe and tribulations, but once you get over that hump, you'll be all right, right? you know, but you got to make it over that hump and it's not going to be easy. It's Hello. work. It's hard work. You have to put in that thank hard so work much, in time. Mama. So thank you. Someone else want to pop off? Hey. <laughs> That's true. I don't know about cleaning up toilets. I, I, mean, I mean, I'll clean, but I'm not cooking. I, I hate cooking. Hello. I'm going to go out to eat. <laughs> okay. So I think about this subject. I think it shouldn't be about what the person has because I start off. Um, Hold on, you can hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just recently got married in October. Congratulations! Um, and before we got married, September, my husband lost his job. Mm. So imagine paying for a wedding, working. I'm a makeup artist, I'm a dance choreographer, I work at Metro PCS too as well. Um, also, I'm a whole entrepreneur. Imagine you gotta pay for this wedding almost, whatever it was, two months before your wedding, he loses his job. What I'm supposed to do? Leave? I don't think so. When I first got with him, he was unemployed. I was working at Metro. Then he got employed. Now he's a property manager of Miami Beach condominiums and everything. Hello, that part. And also, I have several businesses, and I still work at Metro PCS. Okay. Congratulations on that. And the final topic that we're going to talk about kind of leads in from what you 